Hello everyone, how are you? Get rid of the music, turn my comments on. Hello, hello. Um, my name is Alice Tilsner and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. I go live every Thursday morning, my time, 10 a.m. in uh, in at the, the Adelaide time. And uh, hello, Bronwyn, how are you? I was really lucky because uh, I'm sitting here waiting to do the countdown button and all that sort of stuff and go live. And uh, my postie just pulled up, my, my postie who's um, on the bike postie, he sometimes drives up to my back door and delivers my mail for me. So anytime that there's something a little bit bigger that won't fit in our letterbox, um, he'll actually just ring the back doorbell and there we go. So that was like cruel. I was like, no, no, no. But uh, I managed to get back in time. Thank goodness. And my husband's been shopping on eBay again. So hello everyone, Denise and Jane and Deb. Good evening to Denise. She must be over in the US, I'm assuming. Hello, Janet. Yeah, so I was like, oh, phew. So that's good. But it's really, really nice that he drives He drives right up to the back door. So that's very handy. I think, I think it's a, a glass cutter. My husband collects a lot of barometers and I mean a lot we have got a lot of barometers in our house and uh, he got one the other day and the glass was cracked he's, he's starting to get pick out the really old um, barometers and some of them have got cracked glass so he's bought a glass cutter and he's going to have a little play with replacing some of the glass um, from these barometers good morning good morning okay so as you may have seen yesterday I have no idea of what to create like I didn't even know um, right up until the moment where I was going to go to bed what I was actually going to make today so I'm fingers crossing that we're actually going to um, come up with something half decent so uh, you know how it goes with me let's uh, let's go and do all my bits and pieces before we get into our card making so if you are joining me for the first time this is my blog alisatilsner.com Oh, I thought there was another car pulling up. I should remember that Thursday mornings is the rubbish day as well. So they're all out there. But it always gets me. I always go, what's that? Is that a car pulling up? No. So, but anyway, th this is my um, blog, uh, alisatilsner.com. And all of my cards and videos and class signups and everything is all housed on my blog. So if you're ever looking for something and you can't find anything, try my blog and uh, you might uh, find what you're looking for there. And uh, the other thing is, is that you can subscribe to my newsletter from my blog. And then each Friday, um, my time, we I send out a free PDF to your email and uh, sometimes I'll, I'll also pop in some Stampin' Up! news and, uh, and classes that I've got running and all that type of thing as well. So you can head over there and subscribe. Um, August code, halfway through, just over halfway through August now, but the code is still going. Uh, so if you are deciding that you want to purchase with me, thank you very much, um, then pop in the code if you are, I think I've got a minimum of 75 on this one and then the following month I'll send you a packet of um, adhesive backed sequins and gems so these look really interesting i haven't actually seen these yet so that'll be after order a pack for myself too right um so i will send them out in the following month if your orders are over 250 dollars though please don't use the code because you will get all of the host rewards for yourself and I have to say that if you are spending over $250 regularly, why not think about joining? Because we have a great joining offer on at the moment and this ends at the end of um, August. So you will get a fantastic planner. Here's mine. I've got it open on my desk all the time. I'm using mine. So it is an 18 month planner and it's gorgeous and it's all padded and it's got a, a nice um, magnetic clip on it and there's pockets in the in the front and I think there's a pocket at the back and what else is there there's loads I, I've obviously not got many months loaded in mine I was just keen to get mine used but there's enough in there for 18 months you get a stamp set um, so if you like to do a little bit of stamping and journaling inside your planner you can do that as well and you'll also get three notebooks as well so um, that is available you get that for free when you join my team during um, August so you might like to think about that there's no pressure no pressure when you join my team at all either so think about it um, okay next thing is that uh, 
all orders will receive a, um, a free tutorial. Uh, Lisa Bernard from Queen Bee Creations in the US. We get together and we produce a, uh, a PDF for our customers. So regardless of what size order you place, you will get a free tutorial to give you some inspiration. And I keep pushing the sales thing at the moment, but I'm giving away a Sam McCartney Boss with working handle. I got my handle too. I got my handle on Monday. That was super quick. So Carl actually just grabbed it and he reinstalled it. So it's all working again. Uh, yay. So he put it together for me. I didn't even ask him. He was just like, mm. found him doing it. So um, so if, for every $20 worth of order that you place with it, either on my online store or if you've emailed me or you're phoning me to place an order, you will um, go into the draw for that. And then on the 1st of September, I will draw it and post it out to you. And finally, if you uh, more celebration items, I think I discuss this each week. So, um, but you can see that on uh, the online store actually, you can actually go and look under specials and then look under celebration items. So, um, there's one item that has sold out, which is the cards and the envelopes that's gone, but everything else in stock. The tree tree lot dies, which are a level two one. It's pointless pointing me pointing to my screen because you can't see me pointing to my screen uh, that one will most likely sell out um, before the end of the month too so if you're after that one okay last thing is I have my mid-month mini class which is the apples and I actually did a three-part video series on how to color them so I did do them Yay. and then finally because you guys know I was lacking inspiration, I've decided this one, this one was actually on the Stampin' Up! Instagram page. So um, Stampin' Up! Official is their Instagram um, handle, is that what you call it? Anyway, so, but they had a sketch challenge up and they've been putting um, examples up for the last couple of weeks and I'll probably be too late to, you know, put my entry in, but that doesn't matter. But I thought I might use this as inspiration for um, our card today. So let me swing around so I can see all the comments. So, hey Bobby, Denise says she's in a tip, different time zone. Everyone's welcome, doesn't matter what time zone you're in. <laughs> um, Texas, that's where she's from. Actually, yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Tree lot dies did not disappear from ours. It might be sold out in the States, so I should actually say if you are in Australia, we have them. So the we only have one item that has sold out in Australia, and uh, and that is um, that's the cards and envelopes. Uh, yes, Trudy, yes, it does come with a working handle. I don't know whether you've been following, but my my hand, my machine fell off of its resting place. Actually, if I twist my, you can see it up there. That's where it is. So, and my box of roses, I'll just, just so anyway, so because I, I do what a lot of people do and I was stacking um, my machine on top of all of my plates. I mean, my plate was a bit bendy and, um, I just I was just sitting here working one day I hadn't even been using it and all of a sudden it fell off and crashed and my handle broke oh you know the dramas <laughs> so anyway amazing laugh yeah but I anyway, know so it's all fixed now yay so don't stuck your plates like that <laughs> so okie dokie let us um move to the other camera solo layout there we go so just recapping on my apple harvest i'm not going to play with apple harvest today you might see what i'm actually going to play with over here uh, but i am going to make note of it because i do have my mini class so with the mini class i'll just explain it a little bit you basically, um, I'm ordering you an Apple Harvest stamp set. So the class is $42 plus postage and you'll get the, um, you'll get the stamp set and then I will give you a kit to make three cards. So you will get all of the card stock. So you're basically getting this for free. So you're just buying the stamp set. And then I'm going to give you all the supplies to make the three cards. And you'll get envelopes and you'll get the rhinestones. And I will even do the embossing for you. And I, any shape cutting, punching or die cutting that needs to be done, I will also do all of that for you. So it's just a little starter to, to you know, kickstart your mojo. 
and I have also done the three videos so that you can I did this yesterday so that you can follow along um, and not be afraid to color <laughs> so you will get I used scraps on that so you will get um, you won't get them I'm not gonna do the coloring for you you have to do it yourself but you will get everything that goes in in there and then just a little bit more show and tell to show what else you can do with your stamp set this is what we made last week during our um, live so I quite quite like that still how that turned out and then this is what I did um, on Tuesday I think so that one was just like one of those mini reels on Instagram so uh, that was that's another little card and that one was an inspired by a global design project Oops. oh I just lost one of my rhinestones do you hate that I'm gonna stick you there I don't like it when they fall off oh that one's fallen off too Maybe my maybe the weather in my room is not. Um, but now oh, I'll fix you later. <laughs> Pain in the neck. Okay. Okie dokie. So, what are we going to play with today? I thought we might play with the kindest gnome set. So, but I'm not going to stamp and I'm not going to color because. I've got a pile of stuff over here. I've got to find it. With your, when you get your gnome set, and it is red rubber, and I haven't, oh, I've got two. Bonus. Look at that. I've got two stickers, and I don't even use any of them. <laughs> um, so I've only used one stamp so far out of all that, so I have yet to be playing with that. Oh, Bronwyn, I'm glad you've been having fun with the water, water colouring. I really enjoy it. So you get dies as well. So the dies will cut out your images, so your mushrooms and all your little gnomes. And you also get dies here to create a standalone um, gnome. So I thought that's what we might do today. We might have a play with die cutting and uh, it's sort of like, you know, a, a stepped up version of punch out, right? <laughs> so thanks, Wendy. Appreciate that. So I thought we might do that and I'll turn it into a Christmas card or use the Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and I'll sort of try and follow along with that um, uh, sketch challenge that I showed. So I thought we might do that. Now I have made a card previously with this one. I um, remember we did we did this fold in a live a couple of weeks back now but then I redid it with my team night Um we have a, a Zoom get together once a month. So um, that is what I made on that night. I think I was the last one finished. Everyone else just zoomed along. So let's have a quick look at the designer series paper that goes with this suite. And I'm really thinking I might have to do my next class on this. So I've used that piece, but these are so cute. And the dies will actually cut out these guys as well. So very, very cute. Um, and of course there's just the colors are just gorgeous as well little scenery so you can do lots of cards that don't require actually a lot of stamping um moose i think they're still cute that one's really cute i really like that one i'm going to use that one today and i really like that one too oh there we go and also along with this Sweet, you get, I think there's a big, um, there's quite a few things. I'm going to check that on the ground. So there's some um, adhesive and these have got like a little hatched, like cross hatch type thing on the surface of it. There's some snowfall puff paint accessories and I'm thinking maybe we might play with that today. I'm not 100% sure, but anyway. So that's um and i think there was something else in in that as well but i can't remember but anyway it's all in the catalog so anyway i thought we might use this one and the coordinating colors that i'm going to use with it is bermuda bay and pool party and i've got some white for um his beard and i've got some petal pink for his nose so let us start and i'm really starting from scratch because like i said i had absolutely no idea what i was going to create and i actually didn't really I thought about using um, I thought about using this designer series paper, and then I thought, well, if I want to make it into a Christmas card, that sort of doesn't make sense. So that's why I've gone and chosen 
this Christmas trees instead. I don't think I need you. I'll chuck you on the ground. Good morning, Amanda. So, start off with my regular base. So I'm, I'm thinking, and you guys can let me know, I'm going to cut two just in case um, it doesn't work. But I'm thinking because um, we can cut out his beard, I'm thinking that maybe, and I'm going to do my die cutting first so that I know what sizes to cut my papers and stuff. Um, I was thinking maybe putting some of that puff paint on his beard so that he becomes like a Santa gnome. So let me know what you think about that in the comments. So I'm going to use, I'm going to, let's do that. I'll grab my little mini one. And yes, they're still going. They're still going. But I am starting to have issues with it. And I'll explain. So I might have to pull out my new um, plates after all. Okay, so I'm going to, oh, oh. Ah, oh, man, I hate it when I do that. I hate it when I pull off the tape and I rip. Don't like that. So I'm going to cut two of these out just in case we decide we want a puff painter and it doesn't work. Now, the issue I'm having with my cracked plate is that if the cracked bit goes over a die, it won't actually cut where the cracked bit is. Sorry. Okay, now I haven't used these. I have not used this bundle, these dies. So this is the first. Ooh. Okay, so that has embossed a little bit of detail on him. So if I do decide to puff paint it, I'll probably lose um, that. Okay, my cardstock colour is Bermuda Bay, will be my base. And then Pool Party will be a layer. And then it'll have three strips of the patterned paper. And then I'm going to do petal pink for his nose. I pulled out I pulled out Blushing Bride, but it was just a little bit too pink. Okay, so I'll do two of them just in case. See what we want to play with. Oh, I've got to, get, got to get one of these noses. They give you two noses. Oh, dear. I'm gonna break my fingernail. Very sticky. There we go. Okay. So, what do you think? Should I try a puff paint one? Let me know. Alright, get his nose. So. That nose will go like that. Cute. And then what I thought I might do, I might have to trim a bit off, is, oh, they're going to be sticky, sticky, is I thought I might cut these out in his hat and his pants in pool party. And then I thought I might sponge a little bit of, whoops, I just need a, a smaller piece. And then I thought I might sponge some um, Bermuda Bay onto it. I need you later. So let me know what you think. All right. Now, you may wonder, I'm just going to bring this in. This has actually got um, a little triangle cut out on there. And then you'll notice that there is a die, this one here, don't lose it. This die here has got a little hole in it. So you can actually pop that into here, like so, and you can actually cut out a little hole from the top of his hat. So you can turn, obviously it would go that way that you would cut out. Um, so you can actually make some tags with your little standalone die if you wanted to. You can make some tags and you can put them on your gifts if you wanted to. Okay. All right, there's a little bit of detailing around there. So his hat's got a little bit of stitching. His 
hat's got a little bit of stitching around it, which is pretty cute. He's going to be, he's actually going to be a fairly big um, gnome. And then there's a little, little cross hatch on his, um, on his pants. And I think that's the way he goes. So how super cute is he? I think he's cute. All right. I don't think I need these anymore. Let's get them right out of the way. So what do you reckon? Super cute. And what do you think? I don't know whether my... Um, well, I haven't, as you know, I haven't even, I haven't even stamped this image yet. Now, where did these come from? Wee. Uh, I think they were something like that. That's what they're going to be anyway. They are cute. And, oh, here we go. So, and you can also make um, little mushrooms. You've got little mushroom dies and you've also got some grass as well. So you don't have to use this one for Christmas because there's also a couple of um, sayings that says you know me so well and your kindness does not go unnoticed. So you can also, and warm wishes. So you don't have to have this as a Christmas set if you want, don't want to. You can actually, um, you know, make other cards out of it as well so it'll continue on well past Christmas okay <clears throat> so I will cut my panel now I think I'll just use this one as a regular sized panel and then I will work out my measurements I feel I know that they're not supposed to have arms but I feel like he's maybe I need to push him that's a bit better isn't it you need to get that you need to get that um body right hey so bad joke okay no one's answered me yet am i gonna puff paint his beard or am i gonna like to make him a bit more of a, a father christmas or not oh, i think i need to put new blades in my machine in my trimmer get a little bit of fuzz okay so I'm going to do that and then I need three pieces. So this is where I need to work out my math. Uh, I need three pieces. So what's that? That'll be, oh, go get my calculator out. One and a half divided by three, 1.5. Okay, so I can do 1.5. Oh, that works out perfectly. Might as well try. I've got it there. I did try it on in the past on, um, <laughs> I tried to do it on a, I think I threw it out. I tried to do it on a Christmas tree and I stamped the Christmas tree in green and then I put the puff paint on it and I think I overcooked it and um, I, I cut out too. So if we don't like it, I, I can not use it. Anyway, so I, I cut out, um, I did this tree and I think I overcooked my puff paint and three and a half. And it looked like I had mold on my Christmas tree. So I threw it out. That didn't work. <laughs> so but I think white on white might be might be better. You'd like to see? Actually, it's probably good just to even see how to use the puff paint. I've not used the puff paint before. So it will be interesting. Okay, so I'm going to bring this up the top here so you can see what we're doing. Um, yes, I did use the new um, one and it was taking forever and ever and ever. And then it was, and then it finally went and then I think I, I cooked it too long. Okay, so and then hopefully this one will fit in here as well so don't forget all of the measurements that I am doing today for my card I will I will be putting oops oh why didn't that work oh yeah um I, I would like actually I would like it a little bit I would like to have a bit more of a gap maybe I need to just trim a smidge off um oh oh look looky here i need to go to one of those funky um sizes i need to just trim a sliver off it so it's one and a half one and whatever that is whatever's the snippet off i just want a little bit more of that pool party to shine through um, there 
There we go. And now it also, because I've trimmed that off, it will also now make my trees not look like they were, you know, you could mix them up anyway because if you don't want your trees looking like they were all in a row, um, there we go. So I've got a little bit more going between there. And then I will have this dude who's actually quite tall. He'll go there and then I'll have my sentiments. So I'm hoping that that will look okay. And then we'll put some bling on it as well. Okay, so let's try, let's try this puff paint. I have got two if we don't like it. Okay, actually I'm thinking that maybe I should use, um, I should use, if I can actually find it, which I probably can't. Oh, oh it's, it's in my stamparatus. I'm thinking I should use my silicon mat because these are heat proof, right? Uh, and I'll probably need something like that so that I don't burn myself. Okay, what does it say? Snowfall access puff paint. Apparently we had this before and it's come back. So um, the two colours are Bermuda Bay and Pool Party. Shake well before use, apply a thin line and then heat with the heat tool to puff the paint. Right, okay. Now I will not go around his nose, I don't think, because I want the nose to obviously stick. So we'll give it a good shake. And now the last time I used it, it came out in a big rush, Whoop, like that. So I don't know whether you're supposed to, whether thicker is better or thinner. I don't know. So let's just go lightly and I'm not going to go right to the edges. And I've sort of squirted it out and then I'll try and bring it up before I, whoop, before I um, heat it. I will try and bring it up. All right, so I've squirted it out and then I'm just using the nozzle to push it around. I'm not going to go right to the edges as well. Oh, got air bubble. So if you have played with the puff paint before, let me know. All right, sort of try and stay away from that edge as well. All right, I'll bring this up so that I can hopefully show you without dropping it. So it's got like just, there you go. So I've just covered it, I left his nose off and I haven't gone right to the edges. Okay, so it is runny. It probably will never dry, I'm assuming. So let's, I might try and actually hold it up to the camera so that you guys can actually see that. I'm going to mute myself while I'm doing this so that you don't have to listen to the um, uh, ton of puff paint in the 90s. Oh, wow. I, I, it used to be all, all a thing, didn't it? Actually, I think I've missed a bit. So... I don't think I ever use it, but you know, like the icicles and all that sort of stuff. Do you remember all of them? All the glitter paints that we used to use. All right, I'm just going to mute myself.
I actually don't know how long to cook it for. Does that look like it's cooked? I don't know. Do I dare to touch it? Uh, it feels firm. I don't know whether you're supposed to put it on thin or whether you're supposed to... Um, well, anyway, so there you go. There's got a little bit of um, stuff on it. So I don't 100% I don't know what... As long as there are no wet bits left on it, says Amanda. No, well, it all feels dry, but I just thought it might puff a little bit, bit more than that. Maybe I put, maybe I put it on too thick or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, so that's what. So now we can decide whether we want to use it or not. I don't think it's too bad. It's just a really slight. I think it looks pretty good, and I'm actually thinking to make him a little bit more Christmassy. I might do like a pom pom thing on there as well. Um, I think you might need may need to sit a bit after the application. Oh, okay. S let it sit and then. All right. See, it's a new learning game. All right. I just need to get out my my blue. That's the one. All right. I just want to put a little bit of Bermuda Bay. Um, I think his beard looks quite good too. Sort of made him a little bit more Christmassy, I think. So I'm just going to um, pop a little bit of colour onto one side of my hat here. I'm actually thinking, um, just for a little bit of fun one day, that I might like to die cut these hats and then um, like use my blends markers to try and add a little bit of like fabric texture. I don't know, I don't know how that would go. So anyway, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of that and I'll probably just do one side of his foot as well, his little leg, because it looks like the beard covers up a fair bit of it. Just make sure that's even. Like it matches so I reckon we'll do that I think this is going to be a fairly quick card today which is good because sometimes, sometimes I think the Christmas cards we want to um, I just need to work out whether I'm gonna oh that's what I could do never mind me um, I think for Christmas cards we want quicker cards don't we because we've got to make so many of them so I think if we can find a card that doesn't um, take so long for Christmas cards. It's a good thing. Okay, pom pom would be great. Okay, let's let's stick a. I think it needs to come to the end a little bit more. Oh, you know what? Whatever. I think we need a real pom pom. They do take it does take a little while to start to dry though. But anyway, we'll see. Muting myself again. Okay, that one came up really, really puffy. Oops, I'm trying to get the camera. Look at me. There we go. That one came up really, really puffy. So maybe you need to put more on there for it to come up a little bit puffy. Mind you, because it's got colour underneath it, that you can sort of start, like it does change the colour of it a little bit. So maybe I needed to put more on my beard like a thicker a thicker layer but you know what you have a play with these things and you see how they go don't you 
Okay, so I've got my nose, I've got my hat, I've got that, I've got that. So I just need some sentiments. So I think that I will white emboss. I'll just grab my gear out. White. I'm going to white emboss onto that little piece of Bermuda Bay that I had left over. Looking for that. Super cute. Okay, and I'm going to do the Merry Christmas and happy wishes because I because that center the, the sketch that I'm using had like three three parts to the sentiment I'm probably only going to do two parts to my sentiment but um, it will be fine you only have to do you know, like you know your sketch challenge doesn't have to be exactly it's only supposed to jump off your um, mojo doesn't it Oh, I, I honestly, I was just like, I don't know what I'm going to play with. And I thought I don't want to colour in because colouring in takes a while. And I thought, hang on a minute, we've got standalone dies. We can just make a, a die cut gnome. We don't have to stamp. Okay, that's going to look very good, I think. It is cute. And I love the colours as well. I'm I'm always a big fan of Bermuda Bay. I think it's perhaps one of my favourites. And uh, what do I need? I need to heat set it. Okay, muting myself again. Amanda says, Bermuda Bay and Crushed Curry Girl, you are. <laughs> I do like putting yellow with my Bermuda Bay. I have to say. Okay, this is close your eyes time because I need to get a fine. I just need to wait for that to dry a little bit. I did my trick the other day where I was, I can't remember what I was making, but I was testing it and I stuck my finger in it and it was still hot. <laughs> and, of course, I smudged it. You'd think that after how many years of card making you would, you know, learn the things not to do, but you do them anyway. Um, I think I think the Bermuda Bay and White is very fresh, if you know what I mean. Like it's it's like that advert um, for the is that Mentos? Where they go? Oh, something about I feel minty. Okay, so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and separate. Uh, I'm going to try and separate. Ah! Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I hope they're straight because it'll be a bit hard to. There we go. I don't think it is straight. I think it might be a little bit crooked, but anyway. So I'm just going to put uh, Merry Christmas. Trim these off. These are super, super fine. Merry Christmas. You could put the other one in there too. There's warm wishes. You could do warm wishes, Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year if you really wanted to. But I'm just going to do these two. Uh, so there is just enough room to separate them. I like it. I like it when they when they write them up, and there's just enough room. Okay, here will be our card. So this is going to uh, Merry Christmas, and we're going to figure out where this guy will go. Let's let's assemble him so we know what we're dealing with. So I'm going to pop his nose up with a mini dimensional when I can find them. Where are they? Oh, there they are. So you could also add a little bit of, hey, let's do that. Let's add a little bit of, I'm not going to use my sponge though because I don't think I've got a pink, oh yeah, I have got a pink one. But anyway, I'm going to use one of my blends, um, petal pink one. So I will just add a little bit of 
colour to his nose as well. So that was the dark. And then I will just come in with the light as well. Not that that looks any different. <laughs> I think it's just wet. So if in doubt, bring in the cuddle lift. It'll probably dry. It's just wet. That's all. It'll dry. That's just the alcohol on there, right? So give that a moment. It'll fizzle out. And then we want one of these. So pop that on the back. It's probably not going to stick now that I've put alcohol marker on there and I haven't let it dry. Let's get our little nose happening. Okay, now I perhaps should have put the nose on after because that's got to sit right in there, doesn't it? His little nose has to peak right up. I think that's the way that they do it. So I'm going to close your eyes again. I'm going to use... Um, a bit of this oops can't pick it up uh, and slip that right in there and hold I'm actually going to I wonder if I put a block I'll put a little block on either side of it just to hold that down and give it a moment even just his little head's cute, like without putting his body on there. Look, he's cute. So anyway, and then we've got to attach that to there. So if I put, if I put that along the edge there, and then, because we just really want his feet, don't we? And then put that on there. Whoops, I'm leaking, I'm leaking. Freaking blue and wipe it on your pants. That's what we do. So there we go. He is looking cool. I think he's got a bit of a you could do these in you could do him in red, like his body in red, and then he would really look like a bit more santery, wouldn't he? Okay, let's get this assembled. I like to, I do actually like to work. And keep them on. I'm thinking this panel could have even been smaller but I that's okay I'm not gonna go mucking around. So I do like to, to keep my other pieces on my card. I know some people like to start in the middle and then work their way out but I just generally keep them lined up on my card and work this way. Sometimes it doesn't always work. But if you do what is comfortable for you, I guess you can't go wrong, really. There we go. And I'm thinking I might pop this panel up. We might have we might have a bit of height in this card. So there we go. <gasps> it's coming together. Okay, let's pop this panel up. And so that I don't get saggy, I'm just going to use a few. So let's do them. Oh, you could, oh, can you imagine if you did a card and you had like a whole row of multicolored little, I mean, they probably wouldn't fit on your card front. You'd have to do a, you'd have to do a long, because he's actually quite tall. You'd have to do a long card. It wouldn't be a skinny one. Um, unless you did them all like in a row vertical but can you imagine having a whole row of little do, 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 all different colored ones that would be cute okay enough playing with him let's get him let's get him stuck down and then so I'm probably gonna pop him over here and then we can have our Merry Christmas and I might be able to pop um, might be able to pop him over there. So what do you think? Or maybe I can put, because he's quite big, maybe I can put, I'm just worried that I'm not going to be able to stick to where the puff paint is. That's the problem. Might have to go this way. Merry Christmas. Might just have to do that. 
I would like it if it was on the other side, but I'm having a feeling that it's just not going to, unless I just bring them down. There we go. That looks better. Less gap between them. Okay. I think that is looking good. So let's get him stuck down. And then hopefully I can actually stick. Oh, do you know what would even be even cooler? If that puff paint had a little bit of glitter in it. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? I've still got, oh, oopsie, watch out. Don't don't press your finger in that. That's really puffy. I just squashed it. This is a little bit firmer, like I can squash it and it won't buckle, but that one just imploded. Okay, I'm thinking that um, I'm going to be in trouble. I need, I need some super fine edges because I have a feeling that these are going to be too... Make sure I'm sticking on the right one. I'm thinking that might be a little bit too fine. Oh, no, just, 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 just. Oh, yeah, paint some Winker Stella on. We're going we're gonna to do that. Thank you, Katrina. We are definitely going to try that. And then Happy New Year. Make sure I get my dimensionals on the right side. I might be able to put it closer to his foot. Oopsie. We go and I'll pop a little bit of seal. All right. Yep, Deb, you're on the same wavelength. Oh, everyone's on the same wavelength. Joy's on the same wavelength as well. Okay, we're going to, we will have to try some Wink of Stella. Oops. Oh, can't hold things today. Oh, now it's stuck to my finger. Okay, so there we go, sticking down there. Actually, just around the edge there, I didn't put any because um, I kept the puff paint away from the edge. So that is handy, actually. And, and then this one. Oh, let go, let go. Stuck on my thumb. And then Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Where's my wink of Stella? Right here. Now, it looped on me the other day, so I, uh, I'm hoping that is the right one. I've got like three Wink of Stellas in there. If it gloops, it'll gloop, it'll gloop on here. Oh. I know that there's some left in there. I'm pretty sure that there's some left in there. There we go. Oopsie. Oh, man. I glued it on. I thought it had dripped. Anyway, well, let's paint this on. And some up here. That's fun. I'll bring it up to the camera. That is super fun. I don't know whether you can see it. So it probably needs to dry a little bit, but it has got a tiny little bit of a sparkle going on it. So anyway, let us let us get some bling now. So and these, there's actually four colours of these. I know I love the colours. I love the way that this has turned out. It certainly would. Um, separate itself you know the recipient when they have them on their counter their bench top or their cupboard or mantle or wherever they do it there's actually more colors up there so these colors I actually um, this one will be pool party Pacific Point uh, Dunno and Calypso Coral Is that one that one might be actually I don't even know what colors what would that one be? I wish they would list the colours on the back. Where we got Balmy Blue, Basic Black, Bermuda Bay, Calypso Coral, Early Espresso, Nerdy and Navy, Pale Papaya. Pool Party, Poppy Parade. Soft Swag. So there's quite a few colours in that one. And they've got like a really, um, like a cross hatch on them, which sort of gives them a little bit of a sparkle too. Okie dokie. Now I've just got to work out where to put them. Over here is usually a good place. And then maybe two little ones over here. Here we go. 
just tucked away. So that's it. I oh, know the puff paint actually turned out pretty good. That was a really last minute thought this morning. Actually, the whole card is a last minute thought. What am I talking about? Hopefully next, hopefully I'll have a little bit of um, a better idea of what I want to do next time. But it came together. Yay, look at it. He's so cute. Uh, yep, okay, and that hasn't dissolved or anything, so that's good. It has got just got a little bit of a sheen and a little bit of a sparkle on him. So cool. I really like him. I really like him and his nose, like I said, it was just the alcohol on there that made it look really harsh. So that's actually calmed down as well, a little bit of nose. So cute, cute, cute. I am thinking, um, now that I've played with him, I am thinking he's definitely going to have to be my next big class by mail, I think, because I'm gonna, he's going to be fun. And the other one that I really, really like is, I've got my catalogue here and I want to do a class on is um actually he might be able to be one of my class cards right um is the santa this one here too i really really like this one so i've got to get into my christmas card making now i think so but the gnomes are somewhere i think they're towards the backish I don't understand the Yeti. Does anybody understand the Yeti? I don't. Is it a US thing? Because I don't get it. <laughs> Here we go. Here's the gnomes. So yes, the puff paint is part of um, is part of it as well. So there we go. Super cute. So if you're looking for them, they're on page 42 and 43 of the catalogue. So I really, really, really like it. So okie dokie. I better, I'm going to start rambling. So just before we leave, don't forget my current mini class is, um, is what is it? The Apple Harvest. So that is a mini one. The price is mini. Um, when I do my big classes, they're usually over $100 if you want the bundle included in it. So, but the mini classes um, are just a single stamp set. So that one's only 42. Sometimes they're a little bit cheaper. So there we go. Okie dokie. Don't forget, if you haven't signed up to my newsletter, Brush over to my blog and do that. I'm I'm doing a blogging course actually, a very intense eight week blogging course. Amanda's doing it as well, so you'll probably start to see a few little changes going on um, with the layout. Not not so much the the look and feel of it, just um, a few little tweaks along the way that I will be doing. So head on over there, subscribe to my newsletter, and this tutorial will be going out um, tomorrow morning. It will be my time um, Friday morning. So, which is probably going to be in the afternoon for you guys in the US tomorrow afternoon. Okay, thank you very much. I love you. Thanks for joining me and we will uh, see you again next week. Same time, same place. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Yes, Sue, definitely add those gnomes to your order. <laughs> <laughs> they're super cute and like I said you can use them like you don't have to have happy Christmas on there you can use whatever um, sentiment you like as well thanks everyone bye